Hello everyone and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, we are on the second video in our back to school series. Hopefully you saw yesterday's video where I sublimated the clipboard for a teacher. Today's tutorial is all about the students. I went to Dollar Tree and I found these cute little uh, pencil boxes and I was so excited because I know these can be personalized perfectly. So I found them in various colors. I found a little orange one, I found a clear one, and I found this green one. I also found, um, and these are what we're doing today, I also found these um, zipper pouches. We're not doing these today, but I can show you what I've already done with this one. Look at that. I am going to show you how I did this in tomorrow's tutorial. So stay tuned. Make sure you come back and join me for this. But in today's tutorial, we are personalizing these and um, I'm excited to share my process with you. So at the end of the video, if you find this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. So without further ado, let's get started. In order to complete this project, I will be using my Cricut Explore Air 2, a green standard grip mat, StarCraft matte inkjet printable permanent adhesive vinyl that I purchased from 143 Vinyl. And I will be using two of the three pencil boxes that I purchased from Dollar Tree. Okay, so let's head on over to Cricut Design Space. The design that I'm using on the first pencil box is one that I purchased from designbundles.net. It is this one that says back to school alphabet and it includes 14 different alpha sets. I like this um, file because it has a lot of variety and it has colors of, you know, different choices. The audio cut out while I was filming this portion of the tutorial and I wasn't sure why, but I definitely wanted to keep this portion in to show you the other options that were included in this file. Um, there was the pencil option. There was one for red and blue dots. There was another option for graph paper and multiple options of crayon choices, um, but I definitely wanted you to see that. Now let's head over to Cricut Design Space. I am in Cricut Design Space and I'm connected to my Cricut Explore Air 2. What I'm going to do now is upload the individual letters that I'm planning to use for my file. So I want to click upload. I'm going to go to upload image. And for this first pencil box, I'm making this one with my son's name on it. And I'm only planning to use the five letters that are in his name. So for this file, I have to upload the M. So I'm going to click on the letter M, click up, open. I'm going to choose complex, click continue. I'm not going to do anything to it here. I'm going to click apply and continue. And I am going to select the print then cut image. And then I'll go back and click upload again, click browse, go back to that file. Then I have to upload the Y and I have to go so on and so forth until I finish uploading each of the letters. And now I have all of the letters for his name. So now what I'll do is select each one of these letters and I will add them to my canvas. And they will possibly come in big and that's okay because I'll resize them. Okay, so now I have them already in and I am going to bring the view down on my screen to right at about 50%. And what I'm going to leave them that size for now, I am going to grab a shape. The shape that I'm going to grab is this rectangle right here. I will move it over and resize it to match the size of the pencil box. I'm going to click unlock 
and the size of that pencil box that I have, the width is 7.0 and the height is 3.75, okay? And I am going to change the color of it just to kind of match. The, that is a perfect match right there. Okay, and so now I know that I can resize all of these letters at one time instead of trying to resize each of them individually. And so what I'm going to do is just have all of the letters selected and then just bring them down to resize them and then kind of move them. Let me move my pencil box, make sure it's arranged to um, send it to the back so that my letters are on the top. And let me just see. OK, so my letters are still kind of too big. So I'm going to select over all the letters and just resize them all at the same time, which is perfect. So they'll all be the same height. OK. All right. So let me kind of look at them. They are still too big. OK, I'm gonna put them all back together and still resize them. OK, and then now I can select them individually and kind of move them over to the pencil box and i'm loving this i'm really really loving this and now i can kind of resize them again i can make them longer taller wider if i want to and i definitely do think i want to let me move this uh oh well oh, that's kind of nice didn't mean to do that but it's kind of nice let me undo that okay redo that okay so let me move um the pencil box for now just for one second i'm going to select over all of the letters and i know that my letters cannot be taller than 3.75 but i am going to unlock right here and i'm going to change the height of my letters to let's see what 3.75 zero will look like and then just move them all back down now i like that i really like that and i don't know if that's too much green with the being green on green but i still really like it i think what i prefer to use is but you know what? I can actually change the color of this to white. I think I will do that. I think I will do that. I like that. Okay. So now I'm, I have everything selected and I can flatten this. And so when I make my sticker, I just have one sticker and it will fit nicely on my pencil box. I really like that. And if I wanted to change it to the pencil, uh, the pencil icons or the pencil pattern, I could do that, but I think I'm gonna stick with this green. Okay, so now for the next pencil box, I know that the size, I'm gonna grab a shape and once again the shape is going to be a rectangle i am going to unlock it i'm going to change the width to 7.0 and i'm going to change the height to 3.75 that will represent the pencil box that i have here in front of me and for this one i'm also going to change it to white okay and for this one i am going to do it a little bit differently because i want this one to actually look like a sheet of notebook paper okay so what i'm going to do is grab a shape and i am going to grab this rectangle and i am going to unlock it i want the width of this box to be 7.0 and i am going to bring the height in okay so i'm going to keep that at 7.0 and let me see if that is right that's actually a little bit too thick. Let's see. Yes, I want it like that. So the 
the width of this line is 7.0 and the height is 0.1 and so what i'm going to do is duplicate this line two times okay and i am just going to kind of space it out a little bit like that so it is actually looking like um, notebook paper and i'm going to bring that up bring that up and bring that up okay and then what i'm going to do that kind of doesn't look um like it's spaced out properly okay and then what i'm going to do is select all of this well i want these lines i want that line to be blue just like it would would be if it were notebook paper i want that line to be blue and i want that line to also be blue and what i'm going to do is grab another shape i'm just grab a uh, square and i am going to unlock it and i want the height to be 3.75 and i want the width to be 0 0.01 okay just like that and i am going to put that that right here and this will be my margin line okay and i think i want a little bit thicker like that yeah like that that would be better and i am going to change the color of this to pink let me see if i can find a pink color that is perfect and then what i'm going to do is grab um, a shape i'm going to grab a circle and I'm going to just bring that down. So these are going to be, this is going to come down a little bit more like that. And I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to put that right here. Let's put it right there. Okay, and I am going to make sure that is on there all the way perfect so far and then now i am going to grab a text box and i am going to type the name madison and i am going to move it over here and i want her name to be in what color i'm going to choose red we know that already and i am also going to go to images and we want to look for pencils let's look for pencil maybe just one pencil and let's see what options we come up with this one okay i'm going to click add to canvas and i'm going to bring my view back down and bring my view to 50 percent and i'm going to bring my pencil right over here and just bring it down a little bit and kind of rotate a little bit so it's not in the way of her name bring it down let's see Maybe I'll bring this up and bring her name down. Let's see. Is this the one I like? I am not loving this one. Let me delete that and go and find another pencil option. Let's see how this one will look. Bring my view down to 50%. Now that might not look bad. That's actually kind of cute. Because it looks like it is kind of connected to her name a little bit. I actually like that. And let me see if I can change the color. Okay. Okay. I kind of like that. I, I actually love that. We are going to go with 
this option and so now i'm going to select the whole thing and i am going to flatten it and i'm in love i am absolutely in love with this and i'm in love with the way um, miles's name looks also all right so we are ready to click make it and i should have two mats possibly okay let's see okay i have one mat for madison's box and i have one mat for uh, miles's box and and we do not have to mirror this because we're not using a heat source so these are two print then cut images and now i will send them to my printer and i will show you what that looks like i'm going to click continue and i am going to send this to my um canon mx470 printer and everything that i'm going to do from here will be back on the camera okay i don't have any paper in my tray i am going to load my paper i'm using one sheet at a time even though i'm printing two sheets i'm going to load my paper in face down and i am going to click print and you will see my paper come out of the printer and then I'll get the next sheet loaded. I'll speed this part up. Now that I have my images printed out, I am going to let my Cricut cut them out. I have my design placed on the mat in the same direction that it was in in Cricut Design Space. And I'm using the infusible ink cut setting. going to double check that it is cut it looks like it is <laughs> I'm so excited about this but let me double check I am going to let it cut one more time by pressing the C Okay, I'm positive that it cut all the way through that time. I will unload this. Oh my goodness. Get that perfect cut. Now I will grab my first pencil box and hopefully I can remove the backing. I'm not really good at that. I was able to grab it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How cute is this? How cute is this? cute is that? OMG. OMG. I love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let me do the next one. So this one has kind of like a purple or pinkish undertone. Maybe, maybe it's called, maybe it's lilac. Um, but this is the one I want to use for Madison's box. I might love this too much. Oh my goodness. So this is what the finished product looks like. This <laughs> this one is Madison's and this one is Miles. Leave a comment below and let me know which one is your favorite and whether or not you plan to use that same font that I purchased from Design Bundles. 
Now, I am super excited with how these turned out and you already know what I'm gonna say. I love it. I love both of them. And maybe I'm a little bit, you know, partial because of their names, but I love the way these turned out. I think these are super easy to do. So even if you're a teacher and if you want to make one for, you know, each of your students or you wanted to make one to put on the different tables in your classroom, the possibilities are endless. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, don't forget to come back and join me in the next video in these series for the next video in this series because I am going to show you how I was able to use a Dollar Tree pencil pouch and make this cute little pencil pouch right here. So, thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye.